assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel tech talk with shahid today we will discuss about lapping length uh, lap is the most weakest point of any structural element as we discussed in our last vlog also and its location is matters a lot for any structural element we will do one example of a simple beam and we will try to teach you uh, how to decide the locations of uh, lapping uh, we will select one uh, continuous beam and we will see uh, its uh, lapping zones this is our continuous beam and we will give some dimensions for this suppose this length is 10 meter and it's continue on this side uh, first we will see as we discussed in uh, last vlog also uh, for bottom reinforcement lapping and uh, top reinforcement laps and we know uh, our bottom reinforcement we need we can cut this bottom reinforcement up to l by 8 on both side l by 8 on both side and the top reinforcement we always required up to l by 3 on both side l by 3 here also it can be l by 3 or l by 4 length so uh, why we show this this arrangement shows that if we provide lap away from l by 8 that will be weak and when it goes up to center so it will be it will be more and more worse so we should try to provide our lap uh, within this l by 8 so our for bottom reinforcement our lap zone should be something like this something like this and our lap zone for top reinforcement this should be between this to this so for since it's a continuous beam so same arrangement will be applicable for other beams also we will discuss for one span so when we provide our reinforcement so we should provide lap between this portion so uh, since uh, we uh, our span is 10 feet so 10 by 8 so our lap 1.25 meter so our lap should be uh, within that length 1.25 meter so if we are using this uh, uh, 12 mm bar and 50 d's we consider as we discuss in last uh, vlog uh, 50 d's uh, requirement of uh, vlog so 50 into 20 means 1 meter 1000 mm so our lap should be somewhere here it can be here it can be here it can be here wherever we need to provide uh, as per our cutting length we can provide this length here but if this length is on this side and it goes in center so it will be more more and more worst case so we should avoid lapping in this location and same way when we need to provide lap for top reinforcement this is our top reinforcement and uh, we, uh, our l by 3 is three point three meter so lap should be after three point three meter so this is the our length here 3.3 here so remaining is 3.3 again it will be uh, middle so in 3.3 we can provide either here either here or here wherever we need to provide as per our cutting length or required uh, uh, bar length so uh, we we should provide this lap lap uh, within this lap zone anywhere in lap zone but it should not be away from this lap zone it should not be on this part and it should not be in this part it should not be in this part 
so like this we need to decide uh, lapping zones for our uh, beams uh, now we will discuss something uh, lapping zone for columns uh, let me clean this whiteboard so then we will draw again for beam now we will discuss uh, lapping zones for columns uh, suppose this is our column this is our column and its uh, footing is here so here is uh, first slab this is our first floor slab and suppose its length is again we for example we have 10 meter so our ideal location will be somewhere here or somewhere somewhere here and this length we should not provide this uh, in within l by l by 4 or l by 4 suppose this is our 10 meter so we should avoid this location 2.5 meter here also 2.5 meter we should try to avoid in exact middle also because uh, to uh, when there will column will be in buckling so maximum stresses will be in center so we should keep our lapping zone something here not within l by 4 and even not in the center so th this will be our perfect location for lap we should not provide lap here we should not provide here and we should avoid here as well so we choose our uh, lapping locations for uh, column then a uh, little bit we will discuss about uh, slab also uh, for slab it's almost uh, similar like uh, columns suppose this is our one one panel and uh, there is there are uh, beams here there are beams here there are beams so if we provide our reinforcement something like this as I told you it's uh, almost similar like a beam for bottom reinforcement we should provide our lap on near the edges in L by 8 area and uh, we should again uh, avoid lap in same locations we should stagger when we provide lap uh, for top reinforcement that should be away from L by 3 l by 3 so for top reinforcement our lap zone will be here and for bottom reinforcement our lap zone will be something like this as we discussed for beams i hope today's topic is uh, much informative uh, for you guys if you learn anything from our video please uh, like it share it and uh, comment it and if you have any uh, suggestions for next topic please uh, suggest in uh, comment box we will try to cover in our uh, coming vlog uh, till that thank you so much